This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Ah, uh, rookie mistake there, mustache. Fuck! Yep, that's my fault. Hey, they've even got a crawler. shut no matter what I fucking mean it we don't know who these people are they could be dangerous worse they could have let them right to us where the hell is your humanity they would have died out there then we let them we have kids with us I see one little girl what is it I I have to pee in a minute Clem They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten shut. If you've already oh, seen it, how come you're not dead? Or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's we kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Lee, stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. I it's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Punch yeah. him in the face! There's someone in there! It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Hit him, Kenny! Knock this guy out. Happily. Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh man. Second folks, hit that guy, Kenny. <laughs> there he goes again. <laughs> you should just like buy a pair of roller skates or <laughs> get a wheelchair or something, because you are not good on your feet. Ooh, the Q, the all-powerful Q. 
Oh! Whew. My mashing abilities didn't seem to be doing the job. You okay? Just great, thanks. That's twice she's saved us now. Try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? <laughs> it's his heart. <laughs> My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there, behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance, maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You're insane. Well, it's got to get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Oh, so I see. He wants to get us killed, and now, oh, now we've got to come to his rescue suddenly when the old man has a heart attack. Newspapers. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Hmm. What's up there, Carly? That's twice you've saved us, but in a matter of five minutes. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Have you tried the on button? Oh, Jesus, has she? I'm not gonna play around with the volume. That could end badly. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. What? Well, the batteries. <laughs> 
You're supposed to be a reporter, and you don't know what batteries look like? Take the energy bar. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Yeah, sure, why not? You know, you do have that weird kind of creepy stare at me right now, but the sort of I'm gonna feed you to the zombies kind of stare. But yeah, let's have a look around. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. And by the way, may I say, Doug, you have a fantastic polar bear t-shirt. It doesn't make you look like a 12-year-old boy or anything. Jesus. I can tell him all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Indeedy, indeedy. I can't reach that brick. Oh, come on, it's not that far away, is it? Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. And they weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility. So. Right. Looks like you found out your mom and daddy are dead the hard way there, Lee. Just tech stuff, and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months, and I spend a lot of time on the computer. No, just doing my own thing. What about you? Hmm. I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then. Yeah, I did. Good people. More than you may know. Oh no, I don't want to... Do we think we're safe here? Yeah, I've already asked that. I think I have. Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore's safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up well. Oh, maybe I hadn't. What's everyone like in there? Oh. Well, Carly's pretty nice, you know. <laughs> yeah. Lily doesn't take any crap. She's been running the show, keeping people on watch, things like that. And her dad... He's an asshole? Yeah, that guy. <laughs> He's kind of a dick. Pardon my French. <laughs> no, I completely agree with you there, Doug. I believe... Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? No, we've answered all this, but I don't want to go back inside just yet. Still got some things to look at. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Look at the one trapped over there. Better hear oh. that huh? Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all cheat up and... Shut up, Doc. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. Take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could 
somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. <laughs> Not sure why you don't just tell him. I don't know the whole criminal thing, but I'll just say, yo, that dude's my brother. Stop talking about him being eaten there, Doug. It's a combination lock. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. But I know they are, Doug, just trust me. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Hmm. <laughs> Not well then. <laughs> too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. Okay, dokie. That's enough of having fun out here. Let's go back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. Closest thing you get to television these days, sitting behind bars washing walkers. Which, incidentally, is actually what all of us do <laughs> every Friday night. Or Monday, if you live in America, or whatever country. Whatever day your country shows it. Good old UK, we watch The Walking Dead on Fridays. What's that I picked up? Was that battery? Yeah, that was a battery. I didn't know if it was another energy bar. What do we have here? No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. No, nah, but I'm sure we could make a few of them. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. What do you mean you don't? Oh, I'm assuming that. I thought that was them. I was about to say, what do you mean you don't remember them? It's you. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Cat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How is she doing? Well, the family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. So, anywho, what's the plan? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Time to be honest. They, uh, own this place. They're, uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? Our oh, hands, I tried to save him. It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. Yes. <laughs> Try to let it go. But that's the first time I've seen it where it doesn't actually give you an option. Well, it does, but there isn't a second choice. <laughs> that's quite weird. I've never seen that before. <laughs> like earlier, I was telling them about my family Try being to get dead. Some rest, How can I with those things out there? 
I like how I tell them that my family's dead, and then just swiftly moving on. How are you guys doing? So I'm melted now. <laughs> it's kind of made me giggle, I guess. Ooh, what do we have here? Is this another energy bar? Two energy bars. Ah, ah, ah. There you go, Duck. You can have one. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Aw, oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's just what I do. It's just what I do. 